So I was not going to talk about the Hollywood strike, the sag after strike this week, but things have changed. Um, and Drew Barrymore and Bill Maher have taken a lot of flack for going back to work, but a ton of other major hosts have started announcing talks to return to. Last week, I asked about the blue collar workers. What is happening for the blue collar workers? Now, people like Drew Barrymore, Bill Maher, they have the money. They have that money and they can afford to return to work. But the people that have been affected the most by these Hollywood strikes are the blue collar workers. You know, so your makeup artists, your cameraman, um, your sound man, your lighting artists, they have all been affected the most. These two haven't been affected, but they have faced an incredible amount of flack. I believe it is someone's choice to go on strike. If they don't want to strike anymore, then it's up to them. It is their prerogative. They do not have to strike if they do not want to. Okay? That does not mean to say that they disagree with what's going on. They could very well agree with it all. And they still stand in solidarity. It's just that it's better for their workers to be in work and not be evicted, especially when there is no support put in place. I heard that the taxpayers' money was now potentially going towards unemployment payments for the writers and the actors. Listen, that is what their unions should be paying. Their unions should at least be paying some kind of supplement. I mean, I don't really know how their unions work over there. And I don't know what the rules are behind him. Okay. But attacking people for wanting to work and make money is... It, it's not fair. You know? It's, it's not fair. Um, so the shows, of course, took a hiatus. And they still probably will be following the, the rules of not promoting anything, this, that, and the other. But they are... They are um, going back to work regardless. And interestingly, the Drew uh, Barrymore show is not actually struck property for SAG after because it is under a different contract called the um, Network Television Code. And it has actually been called out for going back to work when there are WGA members on the staff. Listen, you choose to strike. That's your prerogative. You have every right to do so. But don't complain if other people want to put people back into work. But yeah, the, the backlash has been horrible. Um, so it's been like, whoa, Drew, come on, take off those rose-colored glasses. Those are red flags, not just flags. Stop, think it over. She doesn't need to think it over. She wants to return to work later. Please reconsider. Well intentions noted. However, this mostly plays into the AMPTP hands to undermine the strike. She's not under sag after for this particular contract, so it doesn't undermine anything other than the, the writer's strike, I guess. But, you know, it's it's her choice and it's a valid choice if that's what she wants to do. And of course, you know, Bill Maher is also facing criticism. And um, he explained that it will be Sans writers writing, or writing, sorry. He also wrote that they won't do written work in an effort to honor the spirit of the strike. The host also said the decision to come back was made because his entire crew has been out of work for months now their their striking has affected the blue collar workers and 
if they want to put the blue collar workers back into work, then good for them. Because the blue collar workers are not receiving a single penny because everybody else has chosen to go on strike. I don't know what with what regards are they employed are they uh, are they self employed over there I don't know how that works over there it may be different from over here but it's it's fact they're not receiving their paychecks like like they should be and well anyway let me know what you think is it right for these hosts to be going back to work they can still support the strike they can still support everything but they can still work at the same time. Chat about it, don't chat about it. Ping a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube, my Rumble and of course my Twitch TV. Thank you.